Vision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. This is what dedication looks like. I am so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. But I am ready to wake up because the UK's entry for Eurovision 2021 just dropped. James Newman is back with a song called Embers. Hey, if you're wondering who I am, I'm Alicia Michelle, your favorite American Eurovision fan. Girl has to have goals. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're here watching this video, you should subscribe. Subscribes are free. You know that if you just click the subscribe button, like all that happens is you get to find out when I have videos for Eurovision. And I mean, if you're here, you probably love the Eurovision Song Contest. So please consider subscribing, okay? Please, I need the subs. I really liked My Last Breath, so I should just get that out of the way. I think that the hate that My Last Breath got was Mostly just that. I think it was still people expecting the UK, I don't know, to promise them their firstborn or something like that. I mean, like, what do they have to do to make you realize that they are taking the song contest seriously at this point? My Last Breath was a great track. It felt radio friendly. It felt fresh. You know that James Newman was going to deliver it on the stage competently. This is not a guy who can't sing. So I was really looking forward to seeing what the UK would have ended up doing last year. And honestly, this year, I just felt like ready for Embers, okay? I just felt like ready for this song. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into this reaction, okay? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, already the music video looks like quality. I love his voice. It's thick, it's rich. Hey. Big Daddy got some rhythm. <laughs> and we're already into the hook. Fresh, early in the song. Not gonna make us wait. Out of the embers. There's a fire burning for you. Well, it makes me want to dance already. And the melody is right there. <laughs> yeah, it's catchy already. It's not like you're searching for the melody. Well, this is a really strong start already. I'm liking the horn section. And we're dancing social distanced. <laughs> we're cool under pressure, so that's what we need. I'm gonna say this as a positive. It sounds like a song that would be like on the background of like, like Love Island or some type of like, you know, like reality show in a good way. Like I could see people getting out the pool, slow-mo, you know, slow-mo flipping their hair. <laughs> and I mean that as a positive. This is good. This is actually really good. This sounds like something that would be on the radio. This does not sound dated at all. And again, I'm not searching for the melody. It's not like an assault of sound. Okay. And we could style him Loki just like this. I like this. I actually really like this. This is definitely gonna be on my playlist. I don't think that this is my number one, but this is definitely in my top 10. Ooh. So I'm just gonna kick off and say, I know that there are gonna be some people who are like, I'm disappointed. And, and I think I said this earlier, but like, what is it that the UK has to do for you? Cause they're not gonna serve Adele, okay? Like, like you have to think realistically and they don't have to. Like the UK has a ton of talent. They don't have to send a superstar to Eurovision to gain respect. What they have to send is something radio friendly. They have to send something that's not dated. They have to send something that's fresh that will be delivered well on the stage. And honestly, Embers is that. Embers is that. James can sing, so we know that he's gonna get on stage and there won't be any bum notes or foolishness like that. So we can start from there. Two, the UK has actually been staging pretty well and putting some budget into their performances. So I feel like they're gonna put some budget into this performance and we're gonna get a competent stage show. Three, this is radio friendly. I've been watching 
watching Love Island lately. I'm a little bit late to the Love Island boat, I admit it. But this is a song that I would imagine hearing on like, I guess like we have The Bachelor in Paradise or something where you see your singles getting out of the, the pool, flipping their hair, doing little challenges and stuff. This feels very current. It feels very fresh. There are some songs that are in the running to possibly represent some other countries that have a better recent trajectory at Eurovision. And I will just say for the record, Embers is better than what other said country could possibly be serving on the Eurovision stage. So I just want y'all to keep that same energy. If y'all don't like generic, this sounds like a winning um, X Factor song or whatever. Keep that same energy because Embers does not sound like a winning X Factor, I don't know, idol song. This is not a winner's song. This sounds like a radio friendly song served by an established artist. So keep that same energy with these other countries, all right? <laughs> this is something that come May 2021, in a couple of months, when we're about to be at summertime, where some folks have gotten their vaccine and everything, and we're just ready to go out to the beach. Like, this is the song that feels so, like, in the moment. It's a bop that actually has some depth. It's not just like an assault of sound, like coming at you and all of this stuff. It actually has a melody that you can hum along to. It's catchy. I didn't find myself kind of like, okay, what's the hook here? Out of the embers. Easy to sing along with, easy to grasp onto. This is really good. I think the UK is on a very, very nice trajectory for Eurovision. Like I said, this isn't gonna be my number one, but it's definitely gonna be in my top 10. Well, that was my reaction. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with what I had to say? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree with what I had to say? Talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation and you know it. I am so excited for Eurovision 2021. Bye. <laughs>